Let's use Google Sheets to make a simple graph. Let's say you have some data that you need to graph. So here I've got my time data and my distance data. You want to make sure that your first column is going to be your x-axis. Highlight the data that you want to graph and then choose insert chart. So the graph comes up by default as a column chart. We're going to change that. So under the setup heading over here where we have chart type you want to choose scroll down to scatter. Now we can see our data points and our graph is almost done completely already. Uh, from here what we want to do is go to customize and what we want to do is we want to go to you can go to chart style if you like you can change the background color and the font uh, but what we want to do is we want to go to the chart and access titles uh, and here what I'm going to do first is I'm going to change the chart title. So I don't like having the units up here so I'm going to get rid of those. Distance versus time. And I'm going to write for a rolling cart. Not, there we go. And I'm just going to center this and it becomes centered on our graph over here. And you can also do that for each of the other axes. Right? You can change the horizontal or the x-axis if something was forgotten like the units and you can do the same thing for the vertical axis over here right it shows up over here if you really wanted to you could even add a subtitle right I'm not going to do that for this one uh, next we're going to go down to the series menu over here uh, for the series menu we have an option of adding a trend line so when you go to trend line the first one that comes up by default is linear but you have another selection that you can choose from um, just by keeping it on linear, you can see that our data for the most part is pretty linear, so we're going to leave it uh, as that. And then we don't need anything else under the series heading. If we go down to the grid lines, we can add in minor grid lines. So right now it's on uh, the vertical axis. We can also change it to the horizontal axis. So on the vertical axis, you can choose how many minor grid lines that go in. Uh, I'm going to pick four, but you can make it fit for whatever data you have on yours. You don't even need to have them. And then for the horizontal axis, just from the way that these numbers worked up, I'm just going to put in one, so it just adds one more line that's in there. And our graph for the most part is pretty much done, so we'll X out of our chart editor. If we click on the chart, and then the three dots, we can move the chart to its own sheet, which is kind of nice. Then it's not in the way of your data. And it already makes it into its own chart. So what we can do is you can just rename it. So you could rename it whatever you like, distance versus time, D versus T, whatever it is that you want to name it to. And then from here you can print it. Get rid of this again. So if we go to our print menu, you can see here's what your chart will look like. And you, of course, save it as a PDF, or you can print it to whatever printer that you have at home or on the network at school. So let's try to do this one more time. I have another set of data that's over here. So we'll highlight the data, insert, chart. For the chart type, we're going to scroll down, scatter. And then we'll go to our Customize. For the title, I'm going to get rid of the units. And I'm going to add in for a falling ball. And I want my title centered. And I can just look, my other axes are fine, but if I wanted to change them, I could select them, the x-axis and the y-axis. Uh, I'm going to add in trend line. So the trend line is under series. So we'll scroll down. Trend line. Now linear obviously doesn't fit for this one, but remember we had some other options. So exponential, not quite. Polynomial. I think that's the one for this one. Let's scroll up, get rid of this. I'm going to go down to grid lines. And so for my horizontal, 
axis, I'm going to add in one minor grid line. For my vertical axis, I'm going to add in four. And then my graph is pretty much done, so I'm going to X out of this. I'm going to select my graph by just clicking on it. From these three dots, I'm going to move it to its own sheet. So there we go. We have another graph that we've done. It's as simple as that.